Well, well, well. If it isn't a new interface, what do we have here? Don't know why nobody's talking about this, but have you noticed the change to Altium's website? They have something called Altium Discover, Altium Develop, Altium Agile, and some other crazy stuff going on over here. Let's go and check out what's new with this Altium. What has Altium done? So we have Altium Discover equips engineers with a solution-oriented approach for finding, exploring, selecting solutions to meet specific design requirements. What I'm getting from this is that they are doing something, what is this? Capture design context, game market insights, accelerate decision-making. Something that this reminds me of is, let me show you. This reminds me of a company named Celis.io where they are doing requirements. If you haven't checked out my other video about Celis, they do like this thing where you can put in requirements for your hardware electronics designs or whatever. And then, well, specifically your electronics designs, then it spits out a schematic after you put in certain requirements and everything. So I'm suspecting that this is what's going on with the Altium Discover. I don't know, this is my prediction. Let me know if this comes true, I'd like to know. Um, and then what else do we have here? We have Altium Develop where it includes, okay, this, it says it includes Altium Designer and Altium 365, but hold up. Things you should know about develop, create your develop workspace. That's fine. It's saying you can do a multiple, multiple disciplinary solution for managing, tracing requirements, sharing designs. The requirements one is big for me. Design in 3D with advanced layouts and routing. Everybody can collaborate. Hold up. You can get your workspace free for 30 days and continue with a paid subscription. We're going to activate this. Check this out. So it's preparing my develop workspace. It has design in here, of course. Carry out the design process, rigid flex, PCB design. Supply chain is in here. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Next is the manufacturing. You can streamline manufacturing in any browser. So this looks like a cloud solution. Oh, okay. We're in Altium Develop. Check it out. Now, hold up. I was over here in Altium Develop. You can activate your account. You can say you're a mechanical software librarian, this and that. What if I want to go electrical, right? Historically, I'm an electrical engineer, but I've been in development for over eight years now. So they give you a quick start. You can activate your workspace. Hold up. You have your design portal, requirements portal, bomb portal. Hold on. What is this? And this is the design portal. Okay, Altium develop. This is what I'm talking about. Nice. You can install their tool. This is the, what's the bomb portal? So if I click on a project, right, this is the bomb portal and I'm at develop. Let's look at a Kame PDP, PDB, who has access, blah, 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 and the different releases of my software. So if I were to look in here, and if I create a managed bill of materials, let's see what we get. Okay, so here you can create managed builds of materials if I were to double click on that, it brings this up on fantastic. So I don't need to download the software and open a bill of materials manager and all that stuff. I can just work inside here and see what's going on. There's no part number. Can I like make edits? Yes, I can. Look at that. I'll leave it as degree C. What if I say 12 pin? Oh, I can change the description. Okay. 
Look at that. That is something else, and it tells you end of life. Ooh. And of course, you can change the manufacturer part number. Let's change this to N. This is so cool. What other things can we do in here? Okay, naturally, you have your designer tool for the electrical engineer, and then the bomb portal, requirements portal. We've seen the bomb portal. There's also agile, but I won't get into that. That seems more like project management. Oh, that's what agile reminds me of. And then you have the requirements portal. What's this? I submitted my request. Let's see if they will grant it. It's, it did say on the way, you know, or not done yet. So, and then there's MCAT co-designer, bill of materials. So your, your co-designers for your, your mechanical and electrical people. Okay. Okay. Well, what if I want to be a software engineer and I want to activate my workspace. There are 52 articles in here. Okay, a lot of common questions that they may ask. And I'm not sure what saying I'm a programmer or a developer is supposed to do, but yeah, I guess it's supposed to take me somewhere. Let's see. Let's see what's part of their education. We have Connect Altium Designer, create a project in Altium 365. We have the 365 workspace, component library management, your standard stuff, Jira application, webinars, training sessions, and what's new. Let's look at what's new. MCAT code designer update, enhanced rigid flex, board assembly, Dinders design review app available for beta testing. Jira integration as well. So if you are small business, small, medium business, enterprise, whatever, then you've got, you can integrate your Jira into here. Get started with design review. What if I want to try design reviews now? Okay. So it's not quite active yet, but that's okay. Looks like there, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. It's 2025. Okay. So it's, it's for beta testing, which makes sense. Uh, we can't do that. You have to be invited. Design review, status tracker, and all that stuff. So this looks pretty exciting. Basically, what I'm getting is that Altium is making a whole ecosystem, or they've made a whole ecosystem around this, um, around it not being just about electrical engineering, but for programmers, developers, management, everybody involved inside of de developing a hardware product. And I'm getting the impression that while like a lot of this stuff will be in the cloud, like bill of materials and whatnot, but you'll still get to download and install your Altium designer software locally. Then we have, so that's Altium develop. And here we have where you can discover product solutions, sign up to get notified. I'll sign up and then we have Altium agile. If I want to take a tour, it will show where I could start an interactive tour. So it shows the typical process for any electrical electronics engineer programming team or whatever. And then you'd, it's showing how its ecosystem will take you from project requirements to attaching those requirements to components. And then the supply chain and bill of materials, which we just saw in the cloud, we can wrap that up, that part up into business systems entirely, into PLM. PLM is a huge thing. You'd have to use different software like maybe Arena, other software tools for project lifecycle management, if you're not familiar with that. But with this, you can put everything in the same ecosystem. You have Jira tasks. Jira is integrated. 
Altium Agile ensures that information remains consistent and accurate as it transitions through various stages of development. Fantastic. I mean, look at that. Everything's integrated. This enables different design systems, flexibility, collaboration. You have ECAD, Project Lifecycle Management, Manufacturing, Component Electronic, Electronic Component Data, MCAD, Simulation, and Design Planning, all in one ecosystem or compatible with that. That is fantastic. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is fantastic. I love the new design and also the colors. I love the colors. This is Altium Develop. Fantastic. Okay. Let me know your thoughts on this new development in the Altium ecosystem. This is Altium Develop. And if you would like access to this, click the link in the description below so you can get started on your account as well, especially if you're a small to medium sized business. Thanks for watching.